Hi, this is Amy with TPF Trips, Places, and Fun. Today, we're just gonna have you along for some of our fun, and we'll talk a little bit about what locals like to do in Branson. Hey, look at we're Jackson. We're here with our dog, Jackson. We are at the Ruth Paul Henning hiking trail. We started at the bottom end, so you can start this up near the Butterfly Palace right off of 76. We came to the bottom end, which is closer to where we live and by Silver Dollar City. So we're gonna take this hike. We've never done this trail before. It's about three and a half miles. And along the way, we'll just talk to you about some of the things we like to do for fun. So we're vlogging. This is a vlog, right? And vlog style. so it's vlog style. And this isn't what everybody, like all the locals like to do in Branson. This is what we like to do in Branson. And you know what, Amy? I have heard people say that there's not a whole lot to do in Branson for locals. I just can't imagine that. We lived in Michigan and different places and there was nothing to do there, but oh my goodness, there's stuff to do everywhere. Look how beautiful this is. This is amazing. The water is very clear. And we're kind of all alone, except for the little friend that uh, Jackson, Jackson made. made. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna wait here for a little bit and see if he goes swimming. Jackson's a bonus, he pulls me up the hill. So obviously the first thing that locals love to do in Branson, at least us and a lot of others, hiking. And there's a lot of trails. This one's a little more strenuous than many of them, but uh, there's a lot, right? Yes. Are you all right? <laughs> hey, there's there's people coming. Don't. Don't look winded because we just started the trail. <laughs> That'll be embarrassing. So in Branson, there's obviously tons of hiking, but also, you know, we've done videos in the past talking about hiking down in Arkansas, like within anywhere from a half an hour to an uh, hour and a half. You can go two hours, two, or two and a half hours, but loads of amazing, beautiful hiking. Uh, we've, we've had a blast. Yeah, and Springfield has some too. The ones in Springfield, I would say, tend to be more... Paved? Yes. <laughs> Not as... Uh... Rocky? Yes. This is a this is a pretty intense one, but f but it's great. It's just a little bit more than maybe we're used to. You do realize there's probably people looking at the terrain here and they're saying, Not really that intense. Yeah, we're a little bit wimpy. Jackson likes it. I don't want to wait for you either. You guys are too fast. Okay, Jackson, go. Good, good, good. All right, well, this trail is just going and going. We were going to wait for a spot to stop and look at something, but that hasn't happened quite yet. So we're going to let you all know what the, uh, what the next thing locals do in Branson. So of course, Branson is all about the shows and attractions. And locals, of course, do get to see a lot of those and do a lot of those things. However, when you've done them once or twice, it's not like you're itching to do them every day or every weekend. So we do, we do do. So does he. <laughs> we, in fact, in fact, I'm, I'm prepared for his do-do. I'm not prepared for your do-do. We do do, we do go to. Silver Dollar City quite a bit. That's something that, you know, you could just do almost every day and it won't get old, at least not for us. We probably go an average of what, twice a week? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. But a lot of the attractions, you know, we'll go once or twice and then we don't need to go again for like another year. So if you think that being local means we're going to a different attraction or a different show every day, it's not really, and so we, we don't really do that. No, but I'll come at it from the other angle. Any moment we are bored, which is often, right? <laughs> We're both busy and bored. I don't know, that's kind of our life. Uh, all we have to do is think about the hundreds of different things to do in Branson and try something new. So as I said before, you know, living in normal places that are not like tourist destinations, not as fun as far as I'm concerned, because we, I mean, we could go to Shepherd of the Hills or a mountain coaster or, 
or a retro arcade or an escape room or oh my goodness go-karts mini golf yeah ripley's believe it or not or wonderworks the titanic museum yeah all those sorts of interactive museums so there's a ton to do we don't get around to doing you know a lot of it over and over and over but you know probably once a week we're going to an attraction or a show or something like that yeah. So, yeah. so let's walk a little more and then we'll let them know maybe some of the some of the shows we like to go to. Okay. All right, let's go, Jackson. Lead on. Go. Go, boy. Taking a break. Go, dog, go. Lead the way, dog. Okay. <laughs> He's just waiting. He's a good doggy. He is a golden doodle, Amy. He is a 90-pound black golden doodle. <laughs> So for those of you that care about this kind of thing, we are vlogging today using the GoPro Hero 9 Black. Just got the new GoPro. Super cool. It keeps the it keeps the uh, horizontal level. I'm tilting the camera right now, but you guys don't know it. Oftentimes when we are doing videos, we are all mic'd up and you know, she's got her mic, I've got my mic, wireless mics. And I've got my Canon M50 and my big rig. That is not the best way to go hiking, especially no. on a strenuous trail we've never done before. It's hard enough doing that at Silver Dollar City. So recently I have been kind of going with the, uh, we usually like to do two cameras, we're not doing it today, to get different angles. But I've uh, been going either with the GoPro and my phone. I've got a phone gimbal, a brand new one from DJI, the uh, OM4. So I'll use that or if, I, if, it's, if we're going to Silver Dollar City or, or something like that, I might bring my Canon M50 on a smaller rig instead of my gimbal and then my phone or the GoPro. So oh, here comes some people. Uh-oh, they're coming this direction. Hello. How are y'all doing? Doing great, doing great. Good, good. A lady with a bull, our English Mastiff up ahead of you. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about shows. Some of the shows that we do annually are Dolly Parton Stampede, The Showboat, and Smoke on the Mountain usually. So those are the ones we wanna see every year. Then there are so many shows in town, just so many. So we love to occasionally just try out a new one. And let's see, this year we've gotten to do Presley's, we have done, what's that one? There was a Rick Thomas uh, magic show last Christmas that we did. We did that one. We did uh, Shepherd of the Hills outdoor drama and Shepherd of the Hills Who Done It Hoedown. Those were both really fun. And there's videos for both of those. Yes. And we also love local theater. So we have a great local theater here called Owens Theater. And they run a few times a year. Probably so, more than that. I think they do at least six a year. Yeah, more than that during a normal season. Now, right. of course, this year it's been crazy. But they have some really fun theater. They have theater for like junior theater. And then they have, you know, regular, I don't know what we Senior call theater. It. <laughs> Not senior, but <laughs> Grow and I don't want to say adult theater because it's, their shows. General even, public. General public. There you go. But we love seeing those shows. They are, they are great. The talent is awesome. So fun. Like I think they did Aladdin Jr. We saw one time. We saw, what was that one? Into the Woods. Oh, that was awesome. That was amazing. And we've seen a lot of great stuff there. So check out Owens Theater. If they happen to be running a show when you're in town, you definitely want to try that out. And what else do we oh, want to man. say about shows? There are so many shows that, you know, even if you're not like into shows, it's something to do. You just go hang out, enjoy a show yeah, for a couple hours. So I hate to even start naming them because I don't want to offend anybody because there's so many good ones. But you can just have a blast, like checking out all the different shows. And you could come to Branson, you know, twice a year for the rest of your life and probably never see them all. Oh yeah. So, yeah. Hey, and speaking of attractions, which we already did, there was a helicopter that just flew right over the top. Helicopter tours, but that's that something is, that- That is something we have never done. I have a fear of flying. I have conquered it recently to be able to fly in commercial planes, but helicopter is a little more than I can handle, but you would probably love it. I'd lo I would love it. Okay, onward, Jackson, go, mighty dog. We watched a movie about a dog named Max yesterday. He was a hero. He was a war hero, and they actually used dogs in wars with their handlers, and it was a really neat movie. But we realize Jackson has a long way to go, but I think it's more his training that is the problem and not the dog himself. <laughs> we love you, Jackson. 
Hey, Jackson. Your mother told me that there was a shortcut on the red trail and it's not the case. Have we already been over one and a half, 1.1 miles? Yeah, I think we've got another, what, three to go? Woo! I don't know, I thought for sure it showed a loop that we were on that would only be 1.1 miles, but I this isn't looping at all. I don't know what to do. I don't think Jackson cares. Should we go back? No, that's always a bummer to just turn around and go back. All right. Who knows what we'll see up here. This is where the bald knobbers hung out and there's all sorts of like points of interest but uh we don't have the actual info on that i guess you have to have an app or a map or yeah we think there's a flyer or something because we see all the little markers that show you where the points of interest are like old homesteads or or wells or yeah i think the one thing we passed was a well the problem is we don't have the actual info to line it up with the marker so we don't know what we're looking at that's all right Okay, so here's a, here's a marker. Now, it could be a point of interest, or it could just be a, uh, a distance marker. Maybe. We don't know. Basically, if we ever got lost up here, you'd never hear from us again. I know we haven't gone three miles, and it started at 15, so they're not mile markers. Tenth we, of a mile? <laughs> we are not survivalists. Oh, no. In case you know. In fact... Guys, before the pandemic, we hardly ever did outdoor things. Isn't ever. That, like very rarely. We would rent a boat maybe once a year and go out on the lake. And then all this happened and we were on lockdown. And so we took up hiking and we realized we really like it. We're not very good at it yet, but we realized we really like it. We used to always joke that we like to do stuff indoors, you know, and now we realize we really love the outdoors too. So it, it's been a good wake up call for us, but we are definitely not the type of people you would want to be with in a survivalist emergency because you'd have no hope. Uh, so, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Should we segue? Sure. Not the kind that you ride, but the kind- Speaking of segue. Speaking of segue. Attractions are something we do sometimes, right? We already talked about attractions. Well, I thought we talked about shows. No, we talked about attractions. Okay, okay. Don't you remember? We no, talked, I do remember, we but we didn't name any specific attractions. Oh, yeah, like zip lining and mountain coaster and go-karts okay, and can... mini golf and all of that, you know. Yeah. But the reason I said Segway, I'm not okay, going no, I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna out. edit out. No, I'm, no, I'm, I'm going no, to keep it right it in out. there. No, so, no I'm going to I'm gonna keep it in there. And no, so, I want you to edit it. And then, so, but Segway, because you started talking about, about the lake. So water sports. And we just went to Stillwater's Resort. Okay. Yeah, edit that last part, though. No. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Water stuff. So we just went to Stillwater's Resort, and that was a lot of fun. The kids were able to try out paddle boarding for the first time. We, we tried out aqua bikes. Those were pretty cool. Yep. You can rent an amphicar. Yep. Right? Over there at the landing. Pontoon boats, ski boats. Uh, what, you can go fishing? Is fishing a water sport? Of course it is. Okay. And jet skis. Yeah. All sorts of swimming, stuff. Swimming, like swimming at the beaches all over the place. Yeah. Yep. So the lake is the reason a lot of people come to Branson. Yeah. In fact, yeah. somebody asked, I, I was in a Facebook group and they asked, well, what's the difference between Branson and Pigeon Forge and, and Gatlinburg, you know, those areas over there? And, you know, some people like Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, some people like Branson. And I, as far as I know, there are no epic lakes there in. Uh, Gatlinburg. Yeah, you do have the Great Smoky Mountains. So that is cool to do the hiking and all that kind of stuff there. But we have Table Rock Lake. And Lake Tanicomo. And Lake Tanicomo, which are both incredible. So we call Pigeon Forge Branson East. We call Myrtle Beach Branson on the Beach because those places are very reminiscent of Branson, only in different locales, right? Yeah, that's right. So you really forgot we talked about attractions, No, huh? I knew we talked about attractions. <laughs> no, you're going to edit all I'm, of it. But I'm really not. No, you are. You are. No. Hey, <laughs> since this is not going to be edited, give us a give us a comment. Do you like it, the unedited, or should we make it cleaner to where you don't ever see our mistakes or our errors? No, it wasn't a mistake because I knew that I had mentioned attractions, but we hadn't talked about any specific attractions. What's your favorite attraction? Well, escape code. Oh, of course. But no. Um... Other than that, boy, there's so many good ones. 
I. How, how about this? This the uh, snowflex tubing on the mountain. That is really fun. Zip I really lining. Enjoy that. We have videos on a lot of this stuff here. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I enjoy so many things. I would say I really like the the museums. The muse When I say museums, I mean like Wonderworks um, and Wonderworks, Ripley's Hollywood Wax Museum, Titanic, Titanic all those kinds of Beyond stuff. Beyond the Lens. Yeah, I just love that kind of interactive type museum. The aquarium's so, coming soon. It's not yeah. a museum, but I would say it's that indoors. Would, that would probably be if I had to choose one genre of attraction, that would probably be it for me. All right. Other than escape rooms. Like escape code. Yes. Hey, tell our friends to come see us at Escape Code. Come see us at Escape Code. So we own Escape Code. We're not always there, but sometimes we are. Our schedule's really random, so you might see us or you might not. But yeah, come check us out. And the Axe Game and also Saga's Mysteries. Yes. We are we are working hard on our new Saga's Mystery story. Yes, so hopefully that'll... Actually, it's not true. It's not true at all. <laughs> we have writer's block. <laughs> We're not working hard on it at all. We, we are working hard on our new escape room, We're, which is Journey Through Elix Hollow. So that's going through construction right now. And yes, that we are. That is the truth. We are definitely working hard on that. In fact, yesterday I was brainstorming, brainstorming, brainstorming for that. Um, as of right now, we've sagas will come, but it's on the back burner because I find it hard to focus on one project. I mean, on more than one project at a time. And we have this huge project with our new escape room, and it's just hard for me to divulge, divulge to. Uh, you got to I don't know. <laughs> nope, I'm just unedited. It's no. as raw as can be. We'll talk about. Yeah, this later. but uh, sagas. Don't worry. We're gonna do our best to get that thing going because we have told people. Hopefully by Thanksgiving, we're gonna have the new one going. But it's a mega project. Yeah, we'll we'll see. I don't know that it's gonna make it. But Alex Hollow will, should be done in a few weeks, so we're really excited about that. We hey. gotta get it tested. Get it finished, constructed, and then tested. Yeah, so. and I think somebody's given up on us. I know. He's a good boy, though. All right, break is over. Here we go. 3.6 miles. Good job, Aim. No, no, no. I'm, I'm still holding on to hope that we branch around and go out the other side. All right. We just passed a guy and he said that uh, maybe we're one third of the way around the loop. Amy wanted to turn back, but I thought we should forge ahead. Yeah, it's um, way longer than I anticipated, but <laughs> we will persevere, I guess. Let's talk about shopping. Now, of course, y'all know about the landing and Tanger, and we love to walk around those places. We love to go to the landing and, and watch the water show and walk along the lake and, of course, you know, see the shops and stuff. But some other kind of shopping you might not be aware of is we have tons of flea markets slash antique stores. And those are really fun just to walk around. And so if we're bored one day, we might go to the Apple Tree Mall and just spend a couple hours in there looking at all sorts of fun things. And by the way, everybody, it's super windy. So sorry if there's wind noise on this, but like I said, I only have my GoPro. Yeah, so, and you'll find those all over Branson and all over Springfield. So if you are into that kind of thing, or even if you're just bored and you want to try it out, I'm not an antiques person, but I love to walk around the flea markets and antique stores. It's really fun. So lots of great shopping in Branson. Plus we have a lot of the big name stores that you guys, you know, may have near you or may not. And even though we're a small town, we now have things like, you know, Hobby Lobby and we have Aldi coming and we have Best Buy, we have Best Buy and you know, all those sorts of things. Hey, look, so, I don't think they can see it, but there's a helicopter up there. Yep, there is. So that's one reason we like to tell people we like living in Branson. It's a small town feel with the big city amenities, like a lot of those, you know, stores that you would only find in a bigger city. Yeah, when I was growing up here, like in the 80s, early 90s, we didn't have the big the big stores. So we always had to go to Springfield if we wanted to go pretty much anywhere. Yeah, you had a little anywhere. Walmart, but it little wasn't Walmart. a super center. No. And so, and that was about it. You didn't have very many things. So. We are blessed now to not have to drive all the way to Springfield every time we need a Walmart Super Center. And how much are you loving Hobby Lobby? I love Hobby Lobby. Like seriously, I was there the other day and I almost cried. <laughs> I was like, this is 
so amazing. It's um, it's incredible. I cry at Best Buy. <laughs> All right, I made. Hey, it's downhill. Look, we're going downhill now. Boy, it's beautiful. It's got to be like just what, 65 degrees? Maybe. 70. Maybe. We really haven't seen a whole lot of wildlife at all, but uh, the other day we went hiking somewhere else and we got up close and personal with a friendly armadillo, didn't we? We did, he was so cute. He was coming through a clearing and he didn't notice us for a long time. And then finally he looks up at us and he gets a shocked look on his face and then he turned around and ran off, but he was very cute. You should put the video in. Yeah, little armadillo video. That was called I think it's pronounced Busick State Park. And that is actually very close to Branson, just a maybe 15 to 20 minute drive on 65 North. Oh, there was a there was a cemetery, like an old cemetery. I'll, I'll put a pics of that too. Yeah, we just happened upon that as we were hiking and it was very cool, you know, to see people that, you know, died in the 1800s, so, so long ago. And there it was just in the middle of the hiking trail in the middle of nowhere. All right, next topic, restaurants. Um, rest, the restaurant situation in Branson is both good and bad, wouldn't you say, Amy? I would, so we don't have a lot of our favorite big name restaurants that we eat when we go to big cities, like things like P.F. Chang's and Cheesecake Factory and the Melting Pot and stuff like that. We don't have any of that. And so that sort of stuff is very limited. The great news is that we have a lot of very good local places. And since that's usually what people are looking for is something different, some you know local favorites when they come, that's perfect. So some of our favorite local places, Sugar Leaf Bakery and Cafe. We just ate there yesterday. Oh so my goodness. Good. They have great sandwiches, great quiche, great soup. Coffee. But the bakery, oh. if you want some unique sweets, go there. We have Center Stage, right? They have some awesome food. We love Momo's. That's a Japanese restaurant. We love to eat there. Let's see, Vaskin's Deli. What are some of our other local favorites? Can you think of some others? I mean, those are the ones we are going to all the time. Yes, there's a new one called the Rogue Chef. Oh yeah. Which we went there and got their macaroons. Those were incredible. We haven't eaten an actual meal there yet, but it gets some awesome reviews. So maybe check them out. If oh, you're Keter in Center, of course. Oh, we love the Keter Center. That's number one. That's probably our favorite. We haven't been able to eat there this season. As far as I know, they haven't opened back up yet. I think they've opened up for pickup. Okay. I think. So you can get some carry out if you want, but you can't dine in yet. So we miss the Keter Center because we love it, but some, some great local food. So if check out some of those places, Pizza by the Chef, if you're wanting pizza, is a really great There's some great place. Chicago style pizza here, a couple different places, um, lots of Mexican. Yeah, so lots of great local options for you here in Brandon. But if anyone out there is looking to start a business, we would love a rockin' Chinese restaurant. So, yeah, we need, um, we need, it doesn't have to be P.F. Chang's, but something kind of reminiscent of it. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Downhill. Hey Amy, do you know what this reminds me of? What? This reminds me of, I don't know why, but this particular area of when my brother and I and my family, we were growing up in Arkansas, just over the state line south, Omaha, Arkansas. And it was all woods, or, you know, behind our house like this. And we would go just hunting through the woods and we would find caves and streams and cliffs. And oh, it was amazing. It was, it was incredible. And so this reminds me of this. We've got this drop off right here. Jackson, no, 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 Jackson. Don't go too far. We saw something like that in the movie last night where the dog went over the cliff. Is this a cave? I can't see. I don't think so. Ooh, that's a steep drop. With rocks at the bottom. Yeah, don't fall. 
You know, I don't think he would run away. So just some random stuff, other random stuff that we do. Stuff like movie theaters, you've got the IMAX complex and then there is another complex in the shops at Branson Meadows. Let's see, the Recplex, so that's something that a lot of locals do. That's where we do some of our local sports, but they also have an amazing Aquaplex where they have a pool with slides and all sorts of fun stuff. Now that just closed for the season on Labor Day, but if you're here during the summer, check that out. We love to do day trips, so we'll go to Springfield, we'll go to Northwest Arkansas, some beautiful areas there. You know, even stuff like Retro Arcade, we have one of those now, and stuff like just arcades, the track, go-karts, stuff like that. You know, all that kind of stuff is fun. And then if you are looking for a place to worship, you know, some of us locals attend church here, but there's a lot of theaters that will hold worship services on Sundays. So if you are here on a Sunday and you'd like to worship with some of us, um, check those out. All right, so we're gonna end this video right about here. And we're gonna take the rest of our hike and do a different video. We're gonna talk about our, our worst theme park experience ever. And yeah, it was at Disney World. So that video will come up sometime soon. But uh, this is the end of this video. So what do you have to say there, Amy? Safe travels, everyone. Say bye, Jackson.